Engineer 775 here wanting to talk about water storage not just short term but long term water storage and today I'm using the Aquamira 2 ounce uh, aqueous solution it's a two part, part A, part B and you basically mix those two and then treat, treat your uh, container and what I'm going to be treating today, these two 2 ounce bottles treat 60 gallons and so I'm going to be treating a 55 gallon drum and I'm also going to treat this 5 gallon this is a scepter military jerry can water container it can be used for fuel well they distinguish them from the fuel because the fuel have the three handles the two and then the vent in the center and so this is uh, one that we're going to treat um, with for long-term storage just in case I want to throw it in my bug out vehicle so I'm going to treat this so I have water in my vehicle it'll be in my basement here for um, until I need it and so I'm going to treat a 55 gallon barrel. Um, I actually bought a new 55 gallon barrel for this. Um, usually I recycle or find barrels and buy them cheaply. I've actually bought uh, two new 55 gallon barrels and there's been obviously nothing in them. They've been rinsed out and they'll be used for long term water storage. The goal here is to have water treated for a long time. I put on my little uh, treated date and uh, best used by date from this little sticker that comes with Aquamira uh, is five years so the treatment that they guarantee from Aquamira is five years and what this is doing is basically creating a, an environment the oxygen uh, in a high oxygen environment that will basically kill all the bacteria in the water and keep it in really good condition for up to five years so that's the dates that I've picked today and we're going to mix it up. The first thing you want to do is you want to mix it in a separate container. I'm just going to do that in this Nalgene container here. We'll take our two part solution. And according to the instructions, you want to let this sit for about five minutes. instructions which you pretty much need a microscope to read but uh, it says let mixture react for five minutes to ensure full activation fill container with appropriate volume of water and add contents of cup so we're going to do that and for a five gallon container it's wanting uh, a teaspoon of A, a teaspoon of B what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this I'm going to put two teaspoons of this mixture in there and that way this will be treated ready to go for my bug out vehicle. Uh, the information for these will be on the in the video description if you're interested in those uh, containers. Okay, let's add some water. Okay, we're filling our 55 gallon barrel and uh, also got another uh, bung wrench for, for this and then we'll fill in the uh, five gallon container and then we'll add our solution to it. And by the time we're full the solution will obviously have fully mixed. So we should be in pretty good shape. And then I'll put the sticker on it and we'll have treated the water for five years. I'll be back. Alright we've got our 55 gallon drum treated with the Aquamira. Put the sticker on the side. Today's date and when to use it by five years out. And again, we use the two ounce, two part solution, part A, part B. And then we also treated the 20 liter or five gallon uh, military can, water can. And they also come in a two and a half gallon as well. So if you want to treat, um, if that other one's too heavy, then you can treat a smaller one, half size. So, the other thing is, um, you might need to get the water out of these, um, especially 55 gallon. So there's a couple, a couple of solutions for that. We've got uh, these siphons, just you can get these cheap bulb siphons from, um, I think I got this one from a local Ace Hardware to get the water out. And then, uh, first essential cells one that uh, I'm jingling here, it's got a little check valve on the end. I've made these two, they're real simple just to Take a piece of clear tubing and put a check valve on the end. Um, but this is a this is actually an emergency essentials siphon, so you can get the water 
out of your 55 gallon drum when you need it. So here's our long term water storage plan, one of them, and it's uh, to treat 55 gallons. Actually it's a two part solution to treat 60 gallons. So just make sure you're able to, everything is sealed up nice and tight. I store in, this will be a cool, dry place, coolest and driest place I have in my property, in my building, my home, in my home. And make sure you have a good wrench to get uh, those caps off. I can get them off with channel locks and other ways, but it's nice to have that, the bung wrench to be able to take them out of there. So, okay, that's enough. Long-term water storage and emergency storage to throw in a vehicle if you have to go quick. It's nice to take some water with you that you trust. Would I filter this? Um, I don't know. I probably will if I'm five years out, but uh, they have pretty much guaranteed a good quality drinking water at five years, which is pretty impressive. Engineer 775 signing out.